Have you ever wondered why some tech companies make decisions that seem a little puzzling at first? Samsung's recent move with the Galaxy S25 Ultra S Pen has sparked a lot of debate. The removal of Bluetooth and Air actions from the S Pen has left many scratching their heads. Is it a cost-cutting move, or could there be a bigger strategy behind it? Let's dive into this and explore a possible reason for this controversial choice. If we take a step back and look at the bigger picture, we might start to see some familiar patterns in the tech world. Think about Apple for a moment. Apple is known for making design choices that seem odd at first, yet somehow they end up paying off. Take the Magic Mouse, for example. It has a charging port located at the bottom, which means you can't use it while it's charging. At first glance, it seems like a design flaw, but despite this, people still purchase it and it sparks conversation. It keeps Apple products in the limelight, making them the subject of endless debates. Even a small design issue can keep a product relevant. Now, let's apply this kind of thinking to Samsung. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is a powerful phone. It's got a top-of-the-line processor, a beautiful display, and an upgraded camera system. In short, it's nearly perfect. But sometimes, perfection can make a phone a little too safe. A device that does everything right might not generate as much buzz as one that has a few unexpected surprises. When everything works smoothly, there's less room for discussion. But when a feature is removed or changed, it creates a conversation. And that's where Samsung may be playing its cards. Imagine this. Samsung realized that the majority of users weren't actually using the Bluetooth functionality in the S Pen. Sure, some people might appreciate the Air Actions feature, but the reality is that most S Pen users simply don't need it. With this in mind, Samsung could have intentionally chosen to remove Bluetooth from the S Pen in the Galaxy S25 Ultra to stir up conversation. By doing this, the phone becomes the subject of debate, and it stays in the spotlight longer. The removal of Bluetooth might seem like a cost-cutting move at first, but it could also be a clever marketing tactic to keep the phone in the public eye. This move isn't necessarily permanent either. Samsung could very well bring Bluetooth back in a future iteration of the S Pen, which would reignite the conversation once again. If they introduced a new Bluetooth-enabled S Pen for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, it would add another layer of excitement and interest, much like Apple has done in the past. Apple often removes features, causes a stir, and then reintroduces them later, sometimes with a premium price tag attached. This kind of strategy keeps their products relevant for longer and makes consumers feel like they're always on the edge of something new. Of course, we can't know for sure if this was Samsung's plan from the beginning, but it's not hard to see how this kind of move would fit with their previous strategies. Samsung has often taken inspiration from Apple, both in terms of features and even the way they name their products. A marketing move like this wouldn't be out of character for them. It's a way to keep the Galaxy S25 Ultra in the headlines, whether it's seen as a clever strategy or a mistake. It doesn't really matter whether the removal of Bluetooth was part of a bigger marketing plan or just a practical decision. What matters is that it has created buzz. People are talking about it. Some argue it was a smart move to generate excitement, while others feel it was a misstep. Either way, Samsung has managed to turn a simple change into a major talking point, which keeps the Galaxy S25 ultra relevant. What do you think about this decision? Was it a brilliant marketing move to get people talking, or was it just a cost-saving measure? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this discussion, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest in tech.